Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Hey girl, hey, this is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. Why is everyone so in love with me? Could it be my lips or my energy? I could count them up, be like one, two, three. Everybody is so in love with me. In today's video, it just gets better and better with Northwood. I love Northwood's concentrated fragrance oils, but oh my god! Did you know they had DIY kits that were this good? If you haven't seen my last video on how to make wax melts with Northwood, click on that video. It gets even better because today, today we're reviewing their DIY bath tea kit. So it's too often in our industry that we struggle with being unique. And oftentimes you want to go for a bath bomb, body scrub, body butter, body oils, or you want to just do candles. But to stand out, you do have to try something that your customers have never seen before. And what better way to put yourself as that innovator in your space than to create bath teas? Okay guys, before this I had no idea about bath teas, but did you know these are very similar to like the Dr. Teal's Epsom salt, except it has real flowers in it. This is such an industry unique added bonus to provide that calming effect to your customers. So they give you everything you'll need in the kit. Yes, Northwood did not come to play with this kit, okay? It's so organized and it's so aesthetically pleasing. As you can see, your instructions are right there, right in your face. You can even watch a video of the product, but you don't need that because you're watching this video. And all of the kit contents are right here. Super easy to follow. You will definitely not be led astray. And it has extra added bonus if you show off your work you do get some points with northwood so definitely share and tag northwood okay period and if you use my code you'll get ten dollars off don't you play don't you forget but yeah look at this the first thing you're going to see are these amazing tubes and then you get a mask in case you got the allergies they protect you in the gloves sterile gloves they got your back okay and then you have all the perfect supplies as it relates to baking soda you got baking soda you got epsom salt you got the flowers the tea blend is in here for you and the fragrance they always give you more than enough this is a full two ounce fragrance guys you know typically you're going to get like one ounce or 30 milliliters from they even give you gloves i just love pink but yeah i'm super excited to jump in definitely comment down below how you think my bath teas come out and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's just jump right into it oh this is science science y'all the only supplies that you need from home is a mixing bowl and a spoon so we're going to go grab those i grabbed a spoon and i grabbed very cool we could just go at like two milliliter increments here for this video we're using huckleberry and sugar blossom this is so lit oh my god it smells so good it smells like like beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do eight milliliters. So we're at two here. Mm, about seven and a half. This is up to eight, so we can seven and a half. So add this whole thing. Bath salts should ideally be completely dry before you package them in an airtight container. When wet ingredients are added, the salts will off gas as they dry. This is a natural process. So you can let the bath salts dry by leaving them in the bowl and stirring them occasionally until they are dry. See the process you can cover with a baking sheet. Oh my god, guys, we literally just made bath salts. Like, what? This is so freaking cute, and I have to let you know. They smell so good. Like this huckleberry and sugar blossom fragrance is heavenly. And as you can see, we only use eight milliliters. They said the max that you should use is 3%, which would be like 24 milliliters. But I recommend staying with that recipe because guys, it's strong. Like I only did eight milliliters, but it's super strong. So there's no reason to go. I did 7.5 actually, so there's no reason to go any higher. But I'll check in in like 30 minutes when we're ready. To put them in the container. <laughs> okay. You know it even came with a spoon? I didn't even show y'all. It came with a spoon. 
Okay, it says to scoop it into the, you know, the bottles, but I decided to use this funnel pitcher that I have from Amazon. I'll link it down below just because scooping it would have took too long. So I just dumped a lot of it into this plastic funnel pitcher. And then I just carefully poured it into the tube containers. It was so much easier just right over the bowls as it spilled. I didn't make a big mess. Look at that. We did it, Joe. If you don't have that, you could totally use this to do it. But I do recommend getting this. This would be 10 times easier. Oh my God, this is so cute. I've never done this before. <laughs> There's extra. Guys, there is literally extra. I could sell those four and then take this to date night, you know? For me. For me, myself, and I. This kit is jam packed with everything you need. Yeah, this is super exciting. Here we are with the bath salts of my life. I'm super excited. I need to label them. That's the last step. Make sure, to me, you know how when you get instructions, you don't really want to follow them? Northwood instructions, you want to follow those. You want to adhere to what they said to do. Okay? Okay, curry. <laughs> go, when you go, and everything goes. Okay. Using them, there's two methods for using these bath salts. If you would like to enjoy them. looking at the flower petals as you bathe, simply empty the contents of one bath salt toot into the tub, the petals will float in the water. Wow. While beautiful floor baths can be messy to clean up, if you use this method, we recommend placing a strainer over the drain. So they recommend place they recommend placing a strainer over your drain if you do just dump this in your tub because you don't want the flower petals to get inside the system and clogged system and have your maintenance and this occur fall full. Um, yeah, while beautiful floor blasts can be messy to clean up, if you use this method, we recommend placing a strainer over the drain so that the petals don't go down that drain. Once the tub is empty, the petals can be cleaned out of the tub. An alternative method for using the bath sauce is to pour them into one of the muslin bags provided. <sighs> That's what these were. So these bags can be used in the bathtub. You could literally just take this bath. You could take this and dump all the continents into this bag and then put the bag in your tub and all the salts are gonna come out, all the fragrance is gonna come out, but not the petal. All the petals are gonna stay in here. And it's perfect. Wow. <laughs> if you tie the bag shut, then hold it under the running water and you fill the tub of your bath, the dry ingredients will dissolve and blend with the water while the petals will stay in the bag for easier cleanup. Wow, that's litty titty. Like I would totally recommend this because I did order, I'll be honest, I, I had purchased from one of my subscribers because in 2020, I met her and I purchased her bath salts and I put them in my tub. I was like, oh, I don't like this. I gotta scrub them all out. It was a hectic. But she also had this type of bag with it. I took it out of this bag and put it in. And now she probably even had instructions in there knowing in hindsight, I should have just, you know, just left it in there and it's no cleanup. Love that. But also, I kind of want the flowers to float to the top. I'll clean it up. I don't mind. It's a vibe. Strainer's upstairs, but it's like a coffee tea bag strainer. I'll just put that right there. And honestly, that's good because comment if this happens to you too. When you fill up your bathtub, you run into the scenario of the continents or the con of whatever's in your bathtub actually, you know, like the water sort of. Get, it gets lower over time because I think our tubs are not really like stopped up, stopped up. There's like a little bit of water coming out. They leave room for Jesus. We don't want to leave room for Jesus. But yeah, let's label these up while I talk to you about how much I am obsessed. Okay, so how cute is this? Each bath tea gets a color-coded label. Here's how they all look. I just added the labels. I'm going to go outside so you can see them in the light, but... 
Epsom salt is so good for sorting. Oh my god, I feel like I literally can't wait to email on Northwood. Like, I freaking love this. Um, okay, so they said don't use these in a bathtub with bath jet. Okay, I went outside just so you could see how beautiful the flowers are and the Epsom salt and the baking soda. And guys, I was just in love. Honestly, they were so beautiful. And then I went in and actually used the bag and ran water and it was beautiful such a great experience uh, i love that it would not get your bathtub completely disgusting so that's an added bonus i did not opt for throwing them all in there as i said i was going to do i don't know i just was like so sore but look at this look how easy it is you just put it on and let the water run through and then all of the essence in there epsom salt the baking soda will just get in there and the fragrance everything it smells so good like who knew concentrated fragrance oils can be skin safe and used in the tub? Like a vibe. I mean, of course, you could use other, you know, bath bombs, body scrubs and stuff. But oh my God, 10 out of 10. Recommend this DIY kit. The link will be in the description down below. If you use my code BOSSBITCH and you do get $10 off. All right, guys, that was the end of this video. Definitely comment down below what you think and let me know if you'll be doing this kit. It's such a good price point and these are so good for you. I don't know what, I, I was apprehensive at first. I didn't know what to expect when it comes to these, but now that I know what they are, I'm super excited. And I guess if you have an allergy, you can use this mask. I typically don't need that and it was so subtle. The scent was so subtle. Huckleberry and Sugar Blossom. This is the perfect scent for the spring and summer. It's a burst of goodness. I love that for us. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just living your purpose and love life. Okay, bye. Ooh.